point Aiden is so important because she broke into the fashion industry with a hijab. Um, she started with the hijab, so it started off on a modest foot. She went into the industry knowing that she wasn't going to be officially part of the industry because the industry is about uh, a lot of it is sexualizing women. A lot of it is, you know, a hair out, uh, show body and stuff. So she went in with the intention to be covered up. So it broke off. It caused a lot of media attention because it was a woman going into an industry where she was completely covered. And it, I think it was really good. And it was a really big step for Muslim women and seeing Muslim women in a different light, seeing them as normal, seeing them as, you know, they're not always sheltered. Um, we do have opinions, we do care about what we wear, you know, but we, we're doing it within the Islamic guidelines. So I think it was very important. And then when she spoke out about how she felt in the industry itself, when she had made it in and she felt like she was compromising her job and thing, I think um, living in a Western world, you do feel like sometimes you might have to compromise the way you dress just so you can fit in so you don't get certain looks. So I understand why she then chose to then break away from that and, you know, take a step and choose her faith instead of compromising her faith for the industry. It opens up um, a lot of uh, opportunity for Muslim women and it opens up a lot of opportunity for brands because if brands then tap into the modest fashion sector, then they're opening themselves up to so many millions of Muslim women that will happily, I can see that there's a lot of, like, I think it's Billie Eilish at the moment. She wears a lot of, I'd say modest because she's very covered in what she wears. So I guess it's kind of branched out to even non-Muslim women wearing more modest clothing. The industry itself is very reluctant to let people in. Um, it's, re it's reluctance to let unfamiliar things in. I feel like modest fashion is quite unfamiliar um especially like a muslim woman it's not familiar to the western culture it's not familiar to western industries so i think it takes a lot more um effort on a muslim woman's part to make it into the industry but once she's in it paves way for a lot of other people that you know muslim women do exist we do enjoy things like makeup uh, beauty pageants all that stuff but i think in the end it's still that because it's unknown culture to the Western society, it is always going to be the select few that make it in. Not in uh, with black people as well, um, and other people like Asian, Chinese, Asian, you know, Japanese, Asian. I think it's that, oh, look, we've done this. We are a diverse company, but it's not just one cover or one article. I think it needs to be multiple to make everyone feel included. Just because they have one Muslim woman doesn't mean they're representing all Muslim women. Um, I think it is, it is for the industry to branch out into other cultures and, you know, maybe into other faiths as well, because it's not just Muslim women that need representation. You know, there are Sikh women, Hindu women, it, but it's just because Muslim women are very, you know, we cover ourselves, we're seen as a lot of us wear hijab. So I think industry is just looking at oh yeah we've got one muslim she's got a hijab on that's it we've ticked the box there so i do think it is a positive turn event i mean i think she's made muslim women feel that okay we don't need to compromise our religion for what we wear i think we need to go hand in hand with both um it also taps into a lot of um insecurities that muslim women could possibly have living in a western world that okay i'm wearing my hijab but how do i also look like them so i think it, it opened up new debates in the sense that you're not alone in the way that you feel.